Pat Love with Love Healing Hearts. I have a quick word for young ladies, teenage ladies in high school. You know, one time I was, I was in the 11th grade and I had just come out from the gym and there was a young lady with beautiful, long, curly hair and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was as handsome as she was beautiful. The saddest thing I saw was them arguing, probably imitating the lifestyle they saw in their parents. They were boyfriend and girlfriend, but I bet you my bottom dollar that they both had abusive men in their family. They were arguing, and he hauled off, and he slapped her and slapped her again. And she stood there and cried. She didn't leave. She didn't run. She stood there. She stayed. Well, I already knew from seeing that that she would probably go through a string of men that abused her because she had she didn't have enough self-esteem to say, oh, no, you're not touching this. She didn't have enough self-esteem. And I say to you, young ladies, I say this to you. If they act like they want to slap you, if they threaten to hit you, if you don't shut up, I'll knock you on your behind. You cut that sucker loose real quick. If you have a father, that's a good one. You let him know. You let the teacher know. You don't keep that to yourself. You don't take threats lightly. Not lightly. Because if they say it, trust me, baby, they are more than willing to follow through. And you need the protection and the covering. I'm telling you the truth. Even if it means you have to change schools, you don't hang. You don't try to appease. You don't try to win the favor of a fool. I don't care how cute they are. I don't care if they're on the football team, if they're the most famous one in the 12th or 11th grade. You get your heels to click it and go the other way. You cut that sucker loose because I'm telling you, if you don't cut them loose, he will knock you down to the ground. And you will go through your life thinking that's normal and it's not. It's sick. It's sick of him to treat you that way and it's sick of you to receive it. What's worse is sick of you to stay and get it repeatedly done until you start having internal bleeding and internal injuries and all kind of mess and you have no self-esteem left and you're like a trapped elephant you won't run away even though the door is wide open that's my word to you young ladies don't hook up with any boy if he calls you a b-i-t-c-h in public cut that sucker loose if he calls you stupid in front of his friends Cut him loose. If he calls you stupid in private, cut him loose. Anybody that talks to you, treats you with disrespect. You don't need him? What do you need him for? Too many fish in the sea, baby. You don't need a fool. Fools come a dime a dozen. You don't need that. You got too much to offer. You're precious in God's sight. You're a jewel. You don't trash a diamond. And, if, and you need to know you're a diamond so that you don't allow anybody to trash you verbally, psychologically, or physically. Do you hear me? Okay, mother has spoken. I hope you hear. And I hope you take heed. Because I'm serious. I'm not playing. You don't allow that. Never. 